let us talk about uh, light emitting polymers today and in this we are going to see the introduction the brief history architecture the working manufacturing and type of this light emitting polymers applications advantages disadvantages conclusion with certain references so let's get started LEP polymer which emit light is LEP in short which is actually light emitting polymer this light is actually electromagnetic radiations and polymers are chains of small molecular components called monomers so monomers means one poly means many so many uh, monomers are polymer polymers uh, cdt and udc are developing this lep display uh, let us uh, go to history in 1977 conducting polymers uh, were discovered so this conducting polymers actually they created a path they showed the path for what we are having today uh, Alan uh, Heger Alan uh, Mac Dymoid got Nobel Prize for the same and from this this OLED wall this is again uh, you are you might be aware of AMOLED OLED these are light emitting devices and in in mobile they are extensively used now. So in 1990, friend uh, et al found electroluminescence in the conducting polymer. Then the birth of what we are looking at today, light emitting polymers. This polyphenylene vinylene PPV is the first LEP discovered. PPV. What is the architecture? This thin film of semiconductor polynomial, this is sandwiched between a cathode, a cathode and this anode. Right? This is a uh, polymer which is sandwiched. This method uh, cathode, metal cathode polymer, we also call it metal cathode polymer. This anode is this uh, anode is ITO that is Indian uh, indium tin oxide, and this cathode is metals glass substrate. This actually depends on the type of LEP which uh, is there, and the substrate. This is the substrate. This is a glass or clear plastic. It again depends on the type of LEP, and again this transparent ITO. And then voltage is applied between this anode and this cathode. This is how the architecture is. So how does it work? Uh, as we just saw that voltage is applied. So due to applied voltage, electrons and holes, electrons and these holes, these are electrons and these are holes will migrate to polymer lattice they will migrate right to the polymer lattice so they will combine together to form exciton see they combine and they form exciton and this excitons they return to initial state by emitting radiation they return this exciton because this is unstable they have to return to their initial state so what they do, they emit radiation. This is how this becomes light emitting. And how this is manufactured, first is this spin coating process. A spin coating machine is used that has a plate spinning at the speed of 8000 rotations per minute. This is how it rotates, this is turnable. This is the glass substrate and this is the polymer solution. So this is spin coating process. Then this is a printer based technique. How this work? This is inkjet printer. This polyamide substrate, polysilicon, ITO, PDT, LEP, and SIO2. Let us see that. These LEPs can be patterned using a wide variety of printing techniques. So the most advanced technique is inkjet printing. This is inkjet printer. Right? So, resolution as high as 360 dpi, 
360 dpi dots per inch have been demonstrated and the approach are scalable to large scale displays so printing promises much lower manufacturing cost against as against the other ones which are available so as we discussed in few, uh, previously that it depends on the type of leps so there are various types of leps leps like emitting pyramids first is our flexible type then stacked organic we also call it as solep then transparent organic we also call it as tolep this is flexible lep as you can easily see how flexible this is then we have stacked lep different stacking you can very well perceive this is the power input this is how light is emitted and this is transparent lep you can see the transparency these are three types of flexible stacked organic and transparent organic leps what are the applications of these polymers multi and full color cell phone displays right as i just mentioned oled and amoled oled then full color high resolution personal digital assistance this is used for pdas also phone displays wrist watches and roll up daily refreshable electronic newspaper also electronic paper and automobile light systems without bulbs what are the advantages it requires only 3.3 volt and lifetime is more than 30,000 hours low power consumption self luminous no angle problem manufacturing cost is quite less if printing is used and can be scaled in any dimension no environmental drawbacks simple to use very slim flat panel displays but there are disadvantages also if voltage drop performance may be affected and limited market availability right now and aging of lep because once it is aging it will again affect the performance and degradation of luminescence also is seen light intensity gradually decreases with time and disintegrate due to contact with oxygen this is a real problem but still work is going on and pretty uh, decent technology this is so in conclusion it has both electrical and optical property it is simple and cheaper it permits flexible lighting in display and this is the technology for the future Thank you so much. Hope you understood a bit idea about LEPs. Take care.